This video will show you how to do today's work. You're going to get a copy of this. I'm going to hand that to you. And this first part here from Michael will be filled in. However, the rest of the people, John, Peter, and Caroline, they will all be blank as well as these questions. They'll be blank. But so yours will look slightly different than this one here. I'm just going to show you how to do this really quick. The resource you need is in Google Classroom, and that's going to be the website here. And I have a page here. It says Fort Worth to Amarillo, and it's got a bunch of lines. This has the distance in miles on this side here. Down at the bottom, it says afternoon, evening. This is the time, so this would be 12 p.m. This would be 12 a.m. This would basically be like the entire day, afternoon, all the way to midnight. And these are the times. And these lines represent the distances that people traveled over time with Michael. John, Peter, and Caroline. So the first thing you want to do is to click all of the lines you want to hide. That way we only see what we want. So I've clicked everything and I just have Michael right here. So I'm going to go to my form and I'm going to look at the start and end times for each segment. And then I'm going to figure out the distance that each segment traveled and the average speed. So here's how I do that. This first one here, this started at noon and it ended at one o'clock. So the start time here is noon, 12 o'clock, and end time is 1 o'clock. Oops. There we go. Now, the distance traveled, it starts, and notice how when I filled over this, it says 12 o'clock, and then it has a zero. So that's zero miles. If I go over to the 1 o'clock, it says 1 o'clock, and then it says 10. That's 10 miles. So if I went from zero to 10, the total number of miles in that segment is 10. Very good. So I'm going to put a 10 here. That's the distance traveled in this segment. So this segment went from 12 to 1. It's one hour long. I went 10 miles in one hour. So the average speed is 1 miles per hour. So the next segment. I start at 1 and I end at 3. So this is a little bit longer. And this also, no, notice that I have started at 1 and I've gone 10 miles. That's where I start at 10 miles. By 3 o'clock, I'm still at 10 miles. So we'll put these in here, go 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. And the distance, if I started at 10 and I ended at 10, I haven't gone anywhere. The distance is 0. 10 minus 10 is 0. So that'll be a 0 right there. And, of course, if you don't go anywhere, your speed is 0 miles per hour. Let's look at the next segment. Next segment says starting from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, and I go from 10 to 30, so 10 miles to 30 miles. So it's 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, and if I've gone, started at 10, and I end at 30, 30 minus 10 is 20, because it's 20 miles for this segment. And so that's why the line goes up a little bit. It's 20 miles for this segment, so I put a 20 here. Now, this is a one-hour span from 3 to 4. So if I went 20 miles in one hour, then my average speed is 20 miles per hour. So you basically just fill in the rest of this so that it looks like this. Now, I'm going to point out a few things here. This right here, this from 6 to 9. If we look at the chart, at 6 o'clock, I was at 40 miles. At 9 o'clock, I'm at 280. So between 40 and 280, the miles traveled for this segment alone is 240 miles. 280 minus 40 is 240. That's why I put 240 here. And then the time frame from 6 to 9 is 3 hours. 240 divided by 3, that's the time frame between these two, is 80. That's why this is 80 miles per hour. And then this one here, for one hour, I went from 280 to 290. That's 10 miles in one hour. So that's 10 miles per hour. And the last little segment, for two hours, I went from 290 to 340. And so that's 50 miles. 290 minus 240 is, no, 340 minus 290 is 50. And then that's 25 miles per hour because it took two hours to go that distance. Then for the total down here at the bottom, this is 12 hours because it's 12 to 12. So it's 12 hours total. I went 340 miles, and the average, 340 divided by 12, is 28.33. So what you're going to do, once you've finished with Michael, you're going to click on John, turn Michael off, and do the same thing for John, 
and Peter and Caroline, and then you're going to answer these questions down here at the bottom. So this is very doable. If you don't understand what to do, I suggest watch this video again very carefully because I show you how to do the math, how to figure out what each problem is, and how to basically complete this assignment. So good luck.